Master Windu spoke highly of your heroics at the Battle of Lesu. Ah! Mace Windu. Outnumbered 100 to 1, we charged across Lesu's energy bridge to certain doom. We would not be stopped. They named that attack in songs, the Hammer of Ryloth. Kanan Jarrus and Kamsundula shortly after the Battle of Fortress Vader, Vader entered a portal constructed by Darth Momon to resurrect his wife, Padme Amidala. While walking through visions, he encountered Windu along with many Jedi with their lightsabers ready to battle him. However, Vader destroyed all of the illusions, cutting off Windu's hand and then slashing his throat as the words, let the past die, resounded in his mind. The name of Mace Windu was later reviled by those who believed the line of the Galactic Empire. The Empire taught in their history books that Windu was the leader of a criminal gang that interfered with a legal execution taking place on Geonosis, thus sparking the Clone Wars. However, Windu's reputation was not completely tarnished by Imperial propaganda. During the Imperial era, the people of Ryloth still remembered his exploits and heroic deeds in the Battle of Lesu and ultimately immortalized his name along with Kam Sindulas through songs dedicated to their victory. Windu was also remembered by Obi-Wan Kenobi, his colleague on the High Council, who ascended to the Cosmic Force as a Force Spirit during the Galactic Civil War. His final apprentice, Luke Skywalker endeavored to become a Jedi Knight, but risked a confrontation with Darth Vader, unaware at the time of his family lineage as the Dark Lord's son, before his Jedi training was finished. Skywalker's decision left Kenobi questioning if the young Jedi apprentice was their last hope and heard the voice of Windu along with other Jedi who fell with the order in his question.